let's expand using the binomial theorem 2x minus 3y to the fourth. Now, the formula for doing this says the result of the exponent is 0, 4, choose 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, all the way up to 4, 4. We know when they match that we should stop. Then we take the first term, 2x to the highest power, and then we decrease that, 2x, got to be in parentheses, by 1 for each successive term. That's going to be the 2, 2x to the 1, and 2x to the 0. Okay? For the last term, we start with it to the 0 power. Negative 3y to the 1. Now it's going to go up no matter how many times you take it. Okay, thank you. Negative 3y to the second, negative 3y to the third, and negative 3y to the fourth. Now these are all terms that are being added, and it may turn out that some of them have minus signs. So those signs will change to a subtraction as we go along. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how, how am I going to calculate these combinations. I could use the formula. Remember the formula? N choose R is N factorial, R factorial, N minus R factorial. Or, the way I want to do it is look at the triangle. So I need the row of parallel triangles that has the four in it. So I go 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. There it is. Those are the combinations that I need. So instead of doing that formula five different times, I only do the triangle one time. So 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So I just go in here and put that in. 1, 4, 6. Four, one. Those are my coefficients of each of these binomial terms. So then I've got to do 10 to the fourth, 4 to the fourth. So I'll write in here 2 to the fourth, x to the fourth, and n choose 1 over 4. So that's 16x to the fourth. Why? Because 2 to the fourth is 16. 1 times 16 times 1 is 16. x to the 4th, there should be no y factor in this first term. All right, now I've got 4 choose 1. We found that to be 4. Okay, 2 to the 3rd, x to the 3rd. That's 2 to the 3rd, x to the 3rd. And because my base is negative here, I'm going to leave it in parentheses. Negative 3 to the 1. The one. And of course, I don't have to write the ones. So see, that's 4 times 8 times negative 3. So I just grab my calculator. 4 times, four times 8 times negative 3. Negative 96. So this is exponents up here. I can figure out the exponents because the and the y has to go up by one, so it's y to the one. All right, so that's a minus. Notice that this term is no longer plus because we multiplied by a negative. All right, third term, four choose two. We found that to be six, either by formula, either by formula or by Pascal's triangle. Two to the two, x to the two. So two to the two, x to the two, and then negative three to the two. And y to the 2. This base is negative. It has to be in parentheses. Okay? So that's 6 times 4 times 9. Because a negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 3 is 9. So, again, grab out the calculator. 6 times 4 times 9. 
positive 216. X is going down by 1, so it's got to be X squared. Y is going up by 1, it's got to be Y squared. All right? All right, two terms to go. This one, let me move this uh, out of our way just a little bit. Let me move him over here. Okay, so for this term, 4 choose 3 from the triangle or by formula is 4. We have 2 to the 1, x to the 1. Well, that's 2 times x. So this is times 2x. We put a little times in there. So it's not 42, it's times 2x. Negative 3 to the 3rd. Well, that's negative 27 because negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. So that's got to be a negative 27. Don't forget your negative. Y to the third. Okay, so 4 times 2 times negative 27. 4 times 2 times negative 27. Negative 216. X, look, X goes down by 1, Y goes up by 1, right? And then the last one, we have 4 choose 4, which is 1, 2X to the 0, which is 1, negative 3 to the 4, so that's a negative I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can brighten this. Yeah. So four choose one is one. Two x to the zero is one. Negative two. An even number is gonna be a positive. Three to the fourth. Is three times three times three times three. So three to the fourth power. Three times three times three times three. Eighty one. It's positive. Y to the fourth. So eighty. 1, y to the 4th. And so that's my final term, plus 81, y to the 4th. Now, you've got to be careful when you calculate your... My computer thinks it's going to die, but it's not. Um, be careful when you calculate your coefficients, okay? The exponents you can always check. The first variable will start with the highest exponent. Count down x4, x3, x2, x1, no x. The last term variable will start with the zero exponent, which means you won't write it. Then y1, y2, y3, y4, they go up. First term goes down, second term goes up. Okay. When there is a minus here, you're going to alternate your signs. Minus plus, minus plus. All right, now, let's do one more problem. Let's say I want to find the, let's see, third term of x minus 5y to the sixth. Okay, I don't want to expand the whole thing. Okay, I just want to find the third term. Okay, so we've got to think carefully about this because the most common mistake is to do a six choose three. Okay, but that's not the point. You've got to do six choose two. And the reason you have to do a two is remember six zero. 6, 1, 6, 2. We start counting with a 0 here, which means 1, 2, third term is going to be 6, choose 2. So don't, don't um, let that catch you, okay? You always go down by 1 for your bottom number. <clears throat> We've got to raise x to something. And we got to raise negative 5. Well, it turns out that this is going to be the bottom number 2 
And this is going to be the difference in this score. All right. C1. Here, remember the first term would be x6, x5, x4. So even if you don't remember that this one, last term is raised to the bottom number and you got to subtract for the, look, just write it over here on the side. It's got to be x4, x3, x, I'm sorry, x6, x5, x4. And then for negative 5y, that's the second term. Remember, it would start with 0, would go to 1, and then go to 2. And that's why this is to the 2. Now, the formula says exponent on top, term minus 1 on bottom, okay? X, first term to the difference, 6 minus 2 is 4. Last term to this bottom exponent, okay? And again, use the counting over there. You can always do it that way. Now, 6 choose 2, I could do with a formula or I could do with a triangle. Instead of the triangle, this time I'll do the formula. Remember, it is 6 factorial over 2 factorial and 4 factorial, right? This tells me the difference of these two has to be my second factorial, okay? Top one, factorial. Bottom one, factorial. Subtract these two, factorial. Now, I'm going to show you a shortcut on expanding this. Instead of writing 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, I'm going to do 6 times 5. And I recognize that 4, 3, 2, 1 is 4 factorial. And then I'm going to do 2 times 1. And I'm going to leave that 4 factorial because, look, I can divide those right out. 30 over 2 is 15. You can also get that from the triangle. This is going to be x plus 4. This is going to be negative times a negative, 25, y squared. So the final answer for this is 15 times 25, 375, x to the fourth, y squared. That's the third term of x minus 5y to the sixth.